Hi everybody, I am Amy Merrill and I am here to tell you about the remote learning survey that's coming out to you all. We are heading into, we're now into March and we're heading into one year of remote learning. And that's not just in Sullivan County, that is across the state, the nation, across the world. And we are seeing a lot of changes happen and through our use of remote learning. So when we started with remote learning at the beginning of um, our time last year, we've had to do a lot of quick thinking and reacting to our situation. We thought we were going to have to do a lot of wheel recreation. And the more we considered what was best for our communities and our community and our students, we knew that it was important for us to take everything that was beautiful about what we're able to provide in our teaching and learning already within our district to take that and actually just modify that so that it could be a more fluid ability to um, insert that into things like remote learning. What has that done for us? Well, it's provided us with lots of questions and hopefully been able to guide us to answers as well. So throughout the year, we have heard from you. We've heard a lot of questions and a lot of concerns about the remote learning experiences. And we've been able to use that to continue to build an effective program for us here in Sullivan County. The Griffin Virtual Academy has been something that we've been able to set up right from the beginning of the school year. And because of that, we've actually had families enrolled in the Griffin Virtual Academy since the very beginning of the year. This year has had quite the variety though. So we've had those families that have been in the Griffin Virtual Academy and very successfully since the beginning of the year. And we've had a majority of our, our um, kids and families and staff be able to return to in-person learning. We've been back to school since the beginning of the year. We've of course had those shutdown days in between. Um, so everybody's experienced the remote learning side to some degree and has had to create a lot of adjustments in their everyday life to accommodate this. Um, but we are by and large back to school. And then we've actually had quite a few families that have had to flex in and out and have needed opportunities to be able to go back and forth for a number of reasons throughout this school year. So while you personally may fit one of these molds, there are families that have had to complete a com or fit a completely different mold this year. So we're trying to pull all these pieces together and that's why this survey is so very important as we come to our one year mark and we start considering the future. We do not have a crystal ball for the future, unfortunately. Um, but we're going to use the things that you give us for the feedback to help develop that improvement as we move forward. We don't know what remote learning requirements there are going to be um, or um, how it's going to look over the next year. We don't know what it's going to look like as a world, a nation, a state, or in Sullivan County. All we can do is best prepare based on your feedback. So we're going to take the things that you give us about how things have gone over this last year and it will help determine of where we need to go. This survey is going to be available on our Sullivan County District website as well as on our social media with Facebook and it will be available until the end of March. That'll give us enough time to pull things together and to look at them critically to assess where we need to go. So what does this survey look like? It's only a couple parts. It shouldn't take you too long, but it is going to give us a lot of valuable information about how we need to continuously look at our remote learning in Sullivan County. So it is going to be real important for everybody to please fill this out. Um, there are three sections and we do ask that you fill out the survey for each child in your family because while your family as a family unit has experienced remote learning in a certain way, we know that it could be very different and we actually know that it has been very different for individual children within that family. So you might have had somebody struggle with remote learning, but you might have had somebody flourish with remote learning. And that's the reason why we do ask for you to fill out the survey per child so that way we can have that big picture of where everybody is. Um, once you answer a couple basic questions in section one, it'll put you into either sections two or sections three. 
Section two is if you chose that you have been a member of the Griffin Virtual Academy um, for any part of the year, whether it's the entire year or you've had to flex in and out to do to quarantine or things like that. Um, if you have had to be in, enrolled in the Griffin Academy, um, Virtual Academy beyond our shutdowns. Um, you'd be bumped into section three if you were largely an on-campus student and have always been considered an in-person student um, and did not sign up for a Griffin Virtual Academy separate from our shutdowns. It won't take you long um, to actually fill out the survey, um, but we do look forward to the results. And then I'll end you with just a reminder on how to get in contact with us should you have any questions regarding any of the virtual work. We do have some virtual Fridays coming up and we want to make sure that we're still here for you and that we hear you and that we are planning for you. So if you have questions regarding the learning materials that are being pushed out, please contact your child's teachers directly. And if you have questions about remote learning, anything that's lingering, or if you as a family would like to um, have a Google Meet so that you can um, decide what is best for your family as you move forward, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm willing to make sure that we have any of that communication we need going. Um, and if you have any technology support needs, please continue to reach out to Mr. Mavis. And just to lastly say thank you in advance for considering to take the survey. It will go a long way in helping us to formulate a plan for the future. 